They'll get the hang of it when they're good and ready, you hear them say. Yes, them, the ones who have not been deeply impacted by the traumas of sleep deprivation. And them, the ones who breeze through things because they don't have much else to handle anyway. Learning to fall asleep is just that, a learned skill. It is something we actively teach our babies to do, whether you realize it or not. How much effort do you put into teaching your toddler to walk? Maybe you feel the back pain, or maybe you barely notice it, but either way, you do teach them. They watch you as you demonstrate without even knowing it. In fact, most things we teach our children through example. So why do some folks feel like teaching a baby to sleep is so terrible? I just don't get it. Why is helping your precious little one to develop an absolutely essential skill in life and giving them all the added health benefits, cognitive benefits, learning, defenses, and benefits you won't even see until they're adults? Why is that something you would contemplate for a second? Sleep training is sleep training. I don't care what you choose to call it, but when you intentionally take action steps to help your little one to sleep better, it's sleep training. Some people try to lure you in with suggestions that sleep training is bad, but their solution is wonderful. Their solution is still sleep training. Just like us, they promote a kind, responsive and loving approach, but it is still sleep training. I'd rather call it what it is and acknowledge that it is a force for good. So if you're happy with how your little one sleeps, excellent. And if you're not, that's okay, most of us aren't. If you think others have it a lot worse, maybe they do, but that doesn't mean you can't shoot for the best possible scenario for you and your family. Imagine being able to buy a Ferrari with excess funds, but then not because you feel like, well, others have it a lot worse. Really? By taking action and giving your family the happiest and healthiest experience of growing up is inspiring and might just pave the way for those who are afraid to take action. I'd definitely buy that Ferrari if I could, and then share with others, hey, if I can achieve this, so can you. So are you going to suffer on because you're worried about what others might think or feel guilty that it, it could be worse, so you don't deserve better? That's crazy. That's nonsense. Are you going to believe that your little one will figure out how to sleep through the night when he or she is ready, and are you prepared to risk the damage that could happen during that wait? Sleep training is wise, just like any learning or training. Why would you deprive your child of sleep when he or she could be sleeping so much better? I am so passionate about this, which is why I get frustrated when people try to create fear in parents about sleep training, like it's something bad based on old ideas and methods that are so outdated they're irrelevant. Modern day healthy sleep training that is responsive is not only safe, but it's the kindest, most responsible thing you can do for your little one. Thanks so much for watching. If you've liked anything about this episode, then please leave a comment below and hit subscribe for more episodes like this. If any of your friends would benefit from seeing this video, then please do share it with them using the hashtag the sleep nanny. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon.